Hi, I'm Chris Thompson with the Dishwitch Organization, and today I would like to discuss the hazards associated with an underground electric strike and how to protect yourself in the event of an electric strike. Your drill comes with an electric strike indicator system, commonly known as an ESID. It is important to understand and use your electric strike indicator anytime you're drilling. This system is here to help protect and warn you and others of a possible strike. Electrocution can have serious effects on the human body, such as tightening of muscles, intense heat causing physical burns, usually at the point of entry and exit on the body, or even stopping the heart or brain functions. Electricity takes the path of least resistance. The steel drill string on a horizontal directional drill provides little resistance, so the electricity can flow from the drill head back to the drill machine, therefore electrifying the drill. Part of the flow of electricity will pass into the ground around the strike, so the ground may be electrified as well. When any two points are at different voltages, electricity will flow between them. This is known as touch or step potential. When walking on ground that is electrified and your feet are at two different voltages, electricity can flow through your body. For this reason, you should remain where you are in the event of a strike. Your drill operator station is bonded to the frame, which means there is no voltage differential or flow around the operator, much like a bird on a wire. So as long as you remain in the operator station, you should not experience any electrical potential. One foot or hand on the machine and one foot on the ground would be like a bird on a wire touching a tree limb or utility pole. A path to ground allows electricity to flow. In the event of an electric strike, the operator should stay in the operator station. Warn people nearby that an electric strike has occurred. Contact the electric company. Reverse drilling direction and try to break contact. Do not touch drill pipe with hands or handheld tools. Press the status button and wait one full minute. The electric company may use a recloser, which will interrupt the electricity for one minute and then reconnect. The purpose of an electric strike system is to alert the operator, crew, and bystanders when an electric strike has occurred that is potentially dangerous. The drilling unit may or may not be electrified, but always assume that it is. Anytime you drill, the electric strike system must be properly set up, tested, and used. The drill operator and tracker must wear protective boots meeting the following standards. Boots must have high tops and meet the electric hazard protection requirements of ASTM F2413-05 when tested at 14,000 volts. Tuck legs of pants completely inside boots. The drill operator must have gloves within reach meeting the following standards. Gloves must have 17,000 AC maximum use voltage according to the ASTM specification D120-87. If working around higher voltage, use gloves and boots with appropriately higher ratings. Because of the risk of an electric strike, personnel should not ever touch the machine or anything connected to it while the operator is drilling. The electric strike system consists of voltage stake with voltage limiter. This is to be located away from the machine. It detects the voltage difference between the ground stake and the drilling machine. Current transformer detects current flowing through the drill string. Reset status button used to recheck the status if the alarm sounds. Self-test. The self-test should be done every time the machine is used. Alarm. If the alarm sounds, assume a strike has occurred. Strobe light provides a visual alert that a strike has occurred. The electric strike system does not prevent electric strikes or detect strikes before they occur. If alarms are activated, a strike has already occurred and equipment may be electrified. The system will only activate the alarm when voltage, current, or a combination of both voltage and current is above threshold limits. An alarm condition is when the total of amperage and voltage are equal to or greater than 100% in 
in any combination. A strike simulator is available to test the system components by simulating voltage and current applied to the machine. To test current, the strike simulator leads are looped through the current transformer and connected to each other. When the simulator is set to current and the test button depressed, a current will be applied through the leads. This creates a field that is detected by the current transformer. The current can be increased by looping or wrapping the leads through the current transformer two or three times. The display screen should indicate approximately 30 to 50% for current with only one loop. The strobe and alarm may activate intermittently. With two loops, the display screen should indicate approximately 80 to 110%. The strobe light and alarm should be on continuously. With three loops through the current transformer, the display screen should indicate approximately 130 to 160%. To test voltage, the strike simulator leads are attached to the metal frame of the machine and to the clamp on the voltage limiter. The simulator, when set to voltage and the test button depressed, will apply a voltage at low current across the leads. The strike system should detect the voltage difference from the machine to the voltage limiter. The strobe and alarm should activate and the display screen should indicate approximately 90 to 110 percent for voltage. Your job is important. It is your responsibility to know the proper procedures, make sure the equipment and job site are ready to go, and maintain a safe working environment. Be a proactive and safe drill operator. I'm Chris Thompson with the Ditchwich Organization. Don't learn safety by accident.